I think it's moving. Yes! We hit the north... Did it disappear? I think this is the North Pole. There's no north on the uh, chart. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with our fugitive run. We are still looking for a ship. It's been a, a minute since we've done this. Okay, I, I, had, uh, I had to stop and play some Valheim. Sorry, I got distracted with Valheim, guys. That game is so addicting. So, last episode, we got a couple of uh, pirate outlaw ships to land, but... We have not had enough money to buy them, so we have been trying to save up some money. We still have not found our crashed ship, so we're still looking for that. Dang it! Well, yeah, I, feel, I, have a, I have a good feeling. This is the episode. I keep saying it. For like the last four episodes, I've been saying that. This is the one! This is the one, guys! Hopefully, this is the one. So we have uh, almost 11 and a half, plus another. So we have over 12 million ready to go for any ship that lands so hopefully a uh, a shuttle lands because those are generally the less expensive ones not always like we uh or the first one we had land was like i think eight million and we only had six so we were right there uh but we have well over eight million now so if that one landed again we'd be good just gonna see what this is is it a drop pod it is not. Just a save beacon. Dang it! I was hoping for a drop on. All right, let's keep going north. We still have not crossed over the uh, North Pole, as far as I know. Let's look. Yeah, we're still up there. We're get. We're so close to the North Pole. We're so close. I've never walked across it. I've I've flown across it, and you just see the uh, the compass change. But I don't know if you if you're on foot, if you go fast enough for it to change. Uh, maybe yeah. I should be prepared for that because I have a feeling I might uh. I might not notice it, and all of a sudden I keep going north, and I'm going right back to where I came from. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, well, I think we got this, guy. So, I mean, we we have not. And I looked at the hours. We are at eight hours in-game. Eight hours in-game times of me just running. And there has not been a lot of warping or loading screens, so it is legit eight hours of me running around on a planet. And so we have not seen a single crashed ship. Oh, look at that. Did not mark that. That looks like an abandoned building. Yeah, I, see, I think I see eggs over there. Oh, no, manufacturing. Manufacturing facility. I should probably look at my uh, actual scanner instead of the building itself. Uh, but yeah, we have not seen a single crashed ship, which is crazy. Like, not one. And we're at eight hours. So this is going to be just like our first fugitive run. I'm going to be running for ten hours before I found a crashed one. It was nice, because I think I... The first ship I found on my uh, my first run was a solar ship, so that would be awesome. I'll take a solar. And all these sentinels are hanging out. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just walking around. I'm just a, a random nobody walking around on the planet. Just, you know, going for my morning jog to get my exercise in. Don't worry about it. All right. So, yeah. I'm trying to rack my brain. I think the most common crashed ship is a shuttle. Like, you'll more often than not find shuttles around. But, they are randomized, so they're everything. Just a higher percentage of them turn out to be shuttles. Uh, I think that you can find a, uh, uh, a solar ship. You can't find any uh, corrupted, like the sentinel ships. You cannot find those. Those will not be on any planet except a corrupted planet. But everything else... You can find them. You can find solars. They're very, very rare, but you can find them. You can find exotics, but again, they are so rare, it is ridiculous. Like, it's hard to find a solar. You have to be looking, and even then, it's going to take you searching for a long time to find one. Unless you're really lucky. Like, you can get lucky. But I'm not, I mean, after eight hours of walking around, I don't think I'm that lucky. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I am, and I just haven't, you know, doesn't feel like it. I mean, we are technically still standing. I haven't died yet. We've gotten close a couple times. I have not died yet. Let's see what this is over here. Man, this is why we're not to the North Pole yet. I keep zigzagging everywhere. Uh, oh, dang it. Let's try, hopefully this wasn't a... Uh, oh, yeah, that's the facility. Son of a... Oh, no, Miner Settlement. Oh, no, Miner Settlement. So, uh... I, it used to be that ships would land at a Miner Settlement. They do not anymore. That was like the the really fast way to find a uh, a crashed ship, or not a crashed one, a ship in general. If you found a minor settlement, 
you would get a crash ship. Or a, I keep calling it a crash. You would get a ship because they would land. But the problem was, if you were playing normally, like not a crazy person like me, you would get irritated because you'd go to try to land at a minor settlement, but the landing pad was always full because NPCs would land there. And so I can't remember which specific update they patched that out of. I think it was like maybe the living ships update. I think it was 2020, maybe 2021, where they patched it out. They said, nope, nope. Uh, NPCs will never land at a uh, minor settlement ever again. So you don't have to worry about uh, the landing pad being full. And I was like, no! That was a nice way to get it done. You would just wait there for a couple minutes and then a, uh, a ship would land. Uh, so that doesn't work anymore. Now, I wish that instead of just taking it away, I wish they would have put in like a a commercial and a, uh, a, a drop-off location. So like, uh, give us two landing pads one is like identified only as a uh, drop-off location for like supplies that would make sense okay they have a supply they have a loading dock and then they have a commercial like anybody can land on this landing pad that would be pretty cool i would like something like that that would have been cool but nope they took it away so it's just it's just over it's just done and i don't think they're ever going to change it back or do anything with that because i mean a lot of people are like oh thank god oh nobody wants to land for me yeah, nobody, uh, nobody complains that they are not landing, except for, you know, me, because <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, there's a double. Look at that, double machinery. Okay, let's see if we can get an upgrade out of here. Come on, a suit upgrade? Oh, I don't even know if I have room for a suit upgrade. Crap. What? Oh, because they're in, they're glitched out, so they're inside of each other. Just like the refiner glitch, you can, uh, the, you can take an item out of both. By only taking it out of one. Well, dang it. I was hoping. You don't get double, uh, when you don't destroy it, you don't get double, uh, materials. So that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I don't think we... Okay, whatever. We lost that, but that's fine. Let's look around. Nothing. Okay. Uh, how many batteries do I have? I have 27. Okay, we're 27. What did I just do? I just destroyed that toxic protection. I mean, I don't need that, but good lord, that is one of the bad... I don't need this either. That is one of the bad things, you guys. If you have, like, I'll show you guys this. In your accessibility, it's hold to confirm. So if you go to destroy something, I have mine set to always instant, which is a stupid move. So I should only have it for hold for destructive. That way, if I try to destroy something, like that upgrade I just destroyed... I have to hold it down in order to do it, not just, you know, accidentally hit it. You know, I, I, I'm being all crazy with my uh, my controller and I accidentally friggin' destroyed I mean, it's not a big deal. End of the day, toxic protection is not going to help me here. And uh, actually, you know what? It might have given me more room for an upgrade. So, technically, oh, we don't need that. Navigational data? Yeah, see, now, now look at it. It takes a second for it to warm up. See, that's the smart way to do it. That's the way I should have had it, but, you know, I'm not smart, so I didn't do it. Let's do that. Yeah, I, I generally, I get so impatient because I don't like holding down the freaking button because I'm like, oh my god, it's taking forever to do this. Uh, you know, especially like when it comes to food. Like if you're trying to eat food because your health is low, you don't want to have to hold down the button for like an eternity trying to eat something because you're dying. You're literally dying. <laughs> so I hate that. And, I mean, they give you, you know, some of it. Like, I think hold to use. Like, let's see if we can get some food. I think I still can eat food quickly. Like, there we go. Grawberry. I'll just get that just to test it out. Because I think it's only for destructive. But do they count eating as a destroying the material? I don't know. Because technically you are. You're destroying it to give yourself energy. All right. Let's see. Oh, no. That's still good. Okay, good. Uh, see, that's good. So hold for destroy only. That's that's the way I'm going to go. That way I don't destroy another upgrade. So all the ones I have left are important. That's the ones I need. <laughs> uh, those are the ones I need. I think we're going to need some oxygen as well. Yeah, we're getting low on oxygen. Why do I have a refiner? I don't even know why. Let's take it up room. If I need to, I'll destroy that because you can't really sell that. I think you sell it for like 100 units. So nothing. Basically nothing. I can get more money from scanning an item. <laughs> oh yeah, we have like, what, one, two more, uh, two more things we have to scan and that's it on this entire planet. 
We've been walking around for eight hours, so I've scanned everything. <laughs> yeah, one and one plant and two minerals, two uh, rocks, and that's it. Everything else has been scanned, and I'm sure they're probably underground in a cave somewhere. Because I have not spent a lot of time in caves. So, uh, yeah. That's probably what I have to go do. Oh, let's grab this guy right here. Exploders always give me the good uh, oxygen. Give me that. Give me that. All right. Get out of here. Try to get me. See, the exploders are my favorite because you don't get damaged as long as you're paying attention and they give you a ton of oxygen. Like, look at that. You can walk away with like 100 oxygen easy if you just pick the uh, the red bulbs and you destroy the plant. You'll get like 80, 90 oxygen, so it's awesome. And boom. Oh, yep, and then the sentinels come after you, though. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It was another guy. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Okay. Let's check around here. Always keeping an eye out for the damage machinery right here. Because, uh, you know, if it's in a big area, like if it looks like it's in a crevice or something, I don't worry about those because those are more than likely not going to have a crashed ship on them. But if it's in a big area, a big flat area, that means there could be a crashed ship. So that's why in general, I'll look around the terrain to see what it is. Over here. Ooh, that was a good boost. Holy cow, that was a nice one. Smooth. Yes, yeah, you like that. That would have been a big area. Just in case. I have enough, uh... Oh yeah, I got plenty of, uh... Carbon. I gotta remind myself not to pick up everything because I'm so used to playing on normal mode. And so your limit is 9,000, so it takes a long time to reach that limit. So I'm just constantly mining everything. But on extreme, you get it pretty quick. 300, you hit that really quick, so... It's easy to kind of have double stacks of everything. You're not paying attention. Here we are. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, I'm going to try to see if I can get everything up. Okay, that's up. Make sure that's up. Okay. Don't use it all because I need it before I hit the ground. So that's why I'm just tapping a little bit. So you do not want to smack into the ground that fast because, oh, that'll... It probably wouldn't have killed me, but it would have definitely destroyed, like, two or three things in my... Two or three upgrades, for sure. But it, oh, my... I wonder... I don't, I, I don't think I've ever had it happen to where everything breaks at the same time, but, man, can you imagine if you land hard enough, it doesn't kill you, but everything in your suit, all your upgrades break? It's like, oh, crap! I have no jetpack, no life support. <laughs> I have no hazard protection. Nothing works. Everything's broken at the same time. Holy hell. That would be a bad day. Come on. Sentinel uh, checking me out going, hey, what are you doing? Why are you being weird? Oh, God. There's a cave right here. Well, since we're here. Let me... Uh, Recharge my hazard protection and also get some batteries going. Oh, crap. That might be a bad thing. So I can get rid of that. Because I need to make room for cobalt. I should have got rid of the uh, ammonia. Ah, well. It is what it is. Oh, I could probably use that ammonia, actually. I could probably use the ammonia for my uh, multi-tool. Let's check that out. Can I use it on this? Yeah, I can. There you go. So I can get rid of it by just using it to fix my multi-tool. So it'll remember that I only fixed that one part. See, so it says repaired. Ooh, I, I repaired that one. Aw, oh, man, I should have... Oh, crap. Oh, well, whatever. I should have done that one. Why not unlock that one, Jason? That one's literally a, a supercharger slot, you dork. All right. Anyway, it'll remember that, so I don't have to worry about, oh, if you don't fix it within a certain amount of time, it'll go away. Nope, it'll always remember I fixed that one piece. Now, be careful, because sometimes it won't tell you 
Like if I if I save and reload, sometimes it'll say I still need to put the ammonia in until you select it. And then it'll say, oh yeah, oh yeah, we forgot. You already fixed this, so never mind. There we go, 35, we're good. Get out of this cave and go north. Nothing. I don't like being in a hilly area either, just because if a uh, outlaw trader wants to land, they have a weird, like, hard time uh, working when the uh, when the terrain is really, really hilly. Like, if there's a lot of uh, crevices and uh, outlaw trader lands, so sometimes they glitch out and they just go through the ground. And, I mean, you have to be really, really quick because if they glitch through the ground, they just fall to the center of the earth. And so if you, un if you like, unbury them before, you're good to go. You can talk to them. But if not... Basically, they just fall and they just keep going if you're not fast enough. Oh, there's a unknown building right in front of us. Let's see what this is. Drop pod. Uh, probably a save beacon. I don't see a roof or anything. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping drop pod, but if it's a save beacon, I'll take that too. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing save beacon, but I'm hoping for a drop pod. So more than likely, it's a save beacon. Yeah. I am tired. It's early in the morning. So I know I'm making excuses already. I need some caffeine. Any other buildings around here? Oh, there is some curious deposit. I'm looking for metal, uh, metal fingers. I can get some uranium and stuff out of there and gold. Oh, drop pot it is. Oh, you are amazing. So let's see if I can make a, I don't have enough ferrite dust. Yeah, I used all my ferrite dust on my battery, so I can't make a uh, housing. I need more ferrite dust. That's fine. I can get that. That's easy. Do I have any? I do have enough uh, sodium nitrate. So, yes. Oh, Sentinel, leave me alone. I'm just trying to get a drop pod done. Get out of here. Yeah, there we go. So we have everything we need. Beautiful. We'll, uh, we'll get another slot. And I think I'm going to do a, a general cargo just because I want more room to pick up items. I could do technology, but I, you know, I deleted my, uh, my toxic protection. So technically I already have a, a spot in my thing. So we're good. All right. Let's get in here real fast. Get away from, get out of there. There we are. So we need to make a hazard or housing. Oh, wrong button. And done, done, done. Yeah, we'll do this. I got to put one in the middle. That way it's all squared off. Driving me crazy. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. And then do this. Get, slowly get rid of this second pile right there. And I mean, yeah, okay, that's why I have my uh, my refiner, just in case I need to refine more sodium into sodium nitrate, if we find some more. I need to get some more uh, ferrite dust. I just uh, realized I burned through a lot of it, so making my batteries and stuff. So as we're going along, I will pick up some. I just got a little nervous there. Holy cow, how did I land right there? I, didn't, <laughs> I thought that cliff was a little bit farther away. Oof, thank God I didn't... Uh, Go crazy with my jetpack on that. Let's recharge that jetpack, Jason, before you decide to do some other crazy stuff and get damaged. Give me that. The big rocks give you more, but they take longer, so that's why I try to to fire off a uh, distance away. That way, I kind of can keep walking while I'm mining it. Ooh, a geode. Okay, I'll take a geode. Let's see what it'll give me. Oh, more ferrite dust. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, another building over here. And some damaged machinery over there. Let's see what this is. That is a building. Out of minor settlement. Observatory. Okay, that's an observatory. And then... Oh, that machine is broken. 
and there's nothing around it. Oh, wait, but there is actually an oxygen plant, so I'll take that. And I went back to look at the uh, screen to see where my uh, my dra uh, berry technology was going to be. Let's see this. Got all that. Uh, technology upgrade. Getting me a shield. That would be great. I'll take a shield. Uh, for my suit. Dang it. <laughs> I was going to say, they'll give me a shield, but not for my suit. Okay, they did give me a shield. Or they didn't give me a shield. They gave me nanites, but that's fine. That's okay. Nothing, nothing. Keep going. I hear somebody. What do you guys want to land? The uh, shuttle? You want to land for me? Land for me? Dang it. I don't know what the odds are. I don't know what triggers a uh, outlaw trader to land. Because, yeah, like in a, in a previous episode, we saw three uh, ships flying and then one of them just decided to stop. I don't know what that trigger is. Like, what causes that to happen? I have no idea. I'm sure Zane knows. But I don't know what it does. I don't know, like, is it a random, like, 10% chance if they fly by, one of them will land? That seems too high. That seems way too high. Or maybe not high enough. Maybe it's 25% chance. It's just I have bad luck. I don't know. Because that's the that's the, the problem with probability is that it's always a, a percent chance and it resets every time. So it's not like if you have four of them fly by you, one of them will guaranteed land. No, every single time it's 25%. So you have only 25% chance. Doesn't matter how many of them, how many times they fly by you. It's always 25. So it might feel like the, the odds are very low because you've just had bad luck. Like, oh, I've had a hundred of them fly by me and only one of them landed. That means it's one out of a hundred. No, <laughs> not necessarily. Just means you have bad luck because your name is Jason. All right, all the way down here. Let me recharge that and get rid of some of that uh, silicate powder. We have two, three spots. Okay, we have three spots open. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. We're going to need to get some more uh, carbon. I mean, I could just refine that into carbon, but nah. You can get regular carbon. That's fine. Nothing. Since we do have room, I do this until we get out of here. You know, I'm going to just keep collecting money. Eventually, eventually I'll run into a ship that I buy. I can buy. Even if it takes me 10 hours, 15, 20 hours. Oh, I don't need a launch fuel. Get that out of here. Even if it takes me like a million years, I'll save up enough money eventually. <laughs> eventually I'll have enough money. Uh, cause yeah, we are up to t over 10 million already. Goodness. We haven't even left the planet yet. Oh yeah, how close are we to our milestone for walking? We should be close, right? Um, exploration on foot. Where's my on foot? No, oh, survival? Yeah, it's a survival. <laughs> We're getting close. We're going to be maxed out on our on foot milestone before we even leave the planet. 100,000 steps. And that doesn't count when I, you know, use my jetpack. So we've covered way more than that. So whenever I'm flying, because it literally counts your steps, not your distance, your steps. So your feet have to be touching the ground for it to count. And I do a lot of jetpack uh, jumps as we try to get going over here. So yeah. Long, long distance. I wonder, I wonder if they can give us, like, a distance you've traveled total, flying everything. What is over there? Unknown building. That would be really awesome. I mean, maybe you do, like, your, uh, your on-foot travel. I mean, it can't be on foot, though, because, yeah, it has to be flying. And your, uh, your ship. So it should be in-ship and out-of-ship travel. Like, how long? 
Because you I imagine that when you get a warp drive, you're going to be like going over thousands and thousands of light years. Whereas on foot, they can give you a distance like a as you're on foot, I can measure how far you've gone. Even if I use my jetpack. I don't know if they even keep track of that or not. Probably not. That's why they don't have a marker for it or a uh, milestone for it. We're gonna make it. Yeah, nope, that's not it. We're getting to a point now where we're kind of full and I've, I've increased my inventory a few times now. <laughs> So we're more full than ever before. Uh, yeah, we just installed another inventory slot. And Starship Shield Module. Two shields, two hyperdrives, one pulse engine upgrade. My ship is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Nobody wants to land. Looking around, I don't see anybody. Nope. Don't see anybody. All right. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm going to have the best A-class upgrades for my ship ever. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, man. Oh, not that. Nothing, nothing. A lot of buried technology. Lots of buried technology over here. Where are we at? Yep. Almost up to six of them. And each stack is you 400. We'll round down 400. So we're up to almost two and a half million, give or take. Uh, in addition to my 11 and a half. So what would that be? 12, 13, 14 million almost. 14 million. That has to be good enough to buy any. I mean, not any, but a, a good portion of ships, right? I mean, we did have one land that was 36 or 38 or something like that. So, <laughs> I mean, oh God, if we have another one of those, oh, just give me a crashed one at this point. Just give me a crashed one. I'll take it. No, 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 no. Not seeing any crashed ones. The other question I have is Where are all the crashed ships, dang it? <laughs> I mean eight hours straight of walking. Haven't found a single crash. I would have taken anything just to get off the planet. Let alone uh because I have my microprocessors just in case we find a crash ship. So we're gonna need to repair it. And so those are hard to come by. And they're very expensive to buy, let alone I, I can't buy anything at a normal space station because I'm an outlaw. So I have to, you know, fly to another system first before I can even buy anything. I need to find a pirate system. But, uh, yeah, if I don't find any crashed ships, they're kind of pointless. It's just sitting in my inventory for a while now. And I yeah, have all these upgrades for my ship. <laughs> Eventually, when I get one, it's going to be great. Nothing. And we're almost there. Almost there. So probably one more uh, buried technology, and then we're good. I don't want to fill it up completely. I mean, I should. But at this point, I'm getting so much money, it's ridiculous. The odds are I'll be able to buy another uh, trader when they land, an outlaw. Be able to buy their ship. Odds are, <laughs> you know, are with me at least. Oh my god, it's just so addicting. I have to. I see condensed carbon. I have to pick it up. It's just like a, a law. It's a rule. Nothing. Don't see anything over here. Just looking for damage machinery markers. Like that one, except for there's no ship around that one. We already know. Oh, wait. Jetpack juice.
It should keep refilling, even though I am using my jetpack. Because that jetpack juice is is powering me up. Dang it. All right, I guess. Jetpack surge. Get in here. Nothing. And the other benefit of uh, running on foot is that you see, I mean, Beeble Bum tells me that you can go up to 800 feet, 800 units away. So that is really, really good compared to like your ship. Like, your ship, you can see far away. However, you're going, you're usually you're moving fast enough to where it doesn't load in. Like the terrain and objects, they're not, they don't have enough time to load in. Whereas on foot, you can't travel that fast. So... It has plenty of time for everything to load in with it. Well, you know, within that 800 unit boundary. It just went flying right through it. Nobody landed though. Dang it. Yeah. So your ship, you could see farther than that, but you know, <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not actually gonna see it because it won't load in. It doesn't have enough chance to load in. And do that. So yeah, that is a good benefit, especially when you're looking for like uh, grave markers and stuff like that, because you can see them a ways off. You know, up oh, like that one over there is 250. So you get a good kind of distance around you. Now, I don't know if that is affected by your tools like scanner range or your, your multi-tool level, like a C class might be worse off than a, an S class. I don't know. I don't think anyone has confirmed whether that's true or not. Like, I don't think so. I think that it marks anything no matter what. The only the only change is the fact that the game cannot recognize sometimes because it's all procedurally generated. So sometimes the game doesn't know that there's an item there. It's not that the uh, scanner is wrong or anything like that. It's that the game itself doesn't recognize there's a, a building or an object there. And I've seen that plenty of times where I've looked at it with my eyeballs and said, okay, there's a there's a planet or there's a uh, a building there. I can see a manufacturing building, but my scanner doesn't know anything is there. Like, it literally sees nothing. And it's just more of the game not working on 100% efficiency. <laughs> Let's uh, recharge our thing here. Make sure all of this is all good. And, well, wait, grab that. Thank you. Now let's juice it up. Hey, hello, frigates. You want to send a uh, starship down to me? That'd be great. I will take it as long as it's under 10 million. Under 10 million, I am there. I will buy it from you. I don't care what it is. You know, if it's under 14, then I might consider it. Oh, unknown building. They marked it for me. And that's another thing, too. It, if you take too long, they will start marking buildings for you. This is probably either a minor settlement or a trading outpost. So it'll mark those locations because they, they think, oh, you're lost and you don't know how to play the game. So here, let's mark this for you just randomly. That way you can kind of get out of here. It's like, no, I'm a fugitive. I can't go there. I go there, I'll get caught. But let's just check it. What if it's a crashed ship? That would be even better. If it starts randomly marking crashed ships, I would love that. I'll take that. Please. After eight hours, they just mark one for you. Like, okay, obviously you are um, lost and don't know what the heck is going on. So here is a ship just for you. I don't see a building. Like, I don't see a roof. So that's a good sign. It might be a broadcast tower, though. That way you can find a minor settlement, maybe. Let me get this oxygen while I'm here. Since we are low on it anyway. Don't get mad. I'm just collecting some uh, oxygen. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Again, you don't go crazy. All right. What is that? That is something. What is this? Cargo drought? What is that? Is this a save beacon? Did it just mark a random save beacon? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, it's just a save beacon. Why would you mark that? There's no point in these things. To save my game? Okay, well, I appreciate that, but uh, 
Probably not. Oh, look at that big old deposit over there. Copper? Yep, copper. I love the deposits that are like... Ugh. I wish they would make us big towers of Heridium. Not Heridium, um, of Cobalt or something like that. That would be cool. Just have it randomized. And sometimes you have a deposit that's way above the ground. Old school No Man's Sky players, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but before we had a terrain manipulator to, to dig into the ground, you had to use your laser to get your deposits. And because you couldn't get into the ground, of course they had to make them above ground. Big old columns, big old pillars of uh, resource just waiting for you. Now it's cooler. They can put it. Oh, God. They can put it in the ground so you can just use your terrain manipulator and it's all cool. But man, I do miss the look of that a gigantic shining tower of like cobalt or, you know, they it would be aluminum back then. But I would imagine uh, they had copper as well. So maybe aluminum would turn into um, magnetized ferrite, maybe. Get all that and get some plutonium. <laughs> when I start getting real sleepy, you'll hear me start talking about plutonium or some uh, tetracobalt. <laughs> so I'm forgetting which version I'm playing. Nothing, nothing. Keep going north. Hey, Sentinel, you want to go? Uh, you want to point me in the direction of a crash ship? I want to help the the ship. I'll repair it. I'm a mechanic, kind of, sort of. I'm a, I'm a terrible mechanic, but I can fix stuff. I can duct tape it and put some um, <laughs> some metal plating on it, and I'll call it good. Shove some uh, dihydrogen crystals into it. It'll just fix it magically. I, I wonder if the uh, terrain has anything to do with the crash ship locations. Like, if you are on a uh, particularly mountainy planet, like really high mountains, does it make the uh, crash ships uh, show up less often? I've always thought that the... Uh, was under the impression that it was always equal if the planet could have ships on it. So, like, dead planets don't, things like that. But, you know, or uh, anomaly planets, you know, you don't have anything there. So, that those planets are the exception. However, any other planet that's normal is uh oh debris okay let's go let's go look at the debris maybe there's a ship with that debris uh but yeah so any other normal planet that would have crash ships normally they have the same number and it doesn't it doesn't matter the size of the planet or anything like that it's all the same so you know for example if every planet has a hundred then you have a hundred ships even if it's a gigantic one and so they're really spread out or if it's a very small moon It'll still have a hundred because, you know, they all have the same amount. Oh, I thought he was going to land for a second. Oh, I thought he was going to land. You see, this is a prime spot. You would think that there would be a ship here. This is a prime spot. It's all flat. It's a big area. Nope. Maybe there was a ship and, you know, it just got removed. Now... You know that there's no ship here because there's no uh, emergency beacon. So that's the big sign. If there was an emergency beacon, then I can say, oh, there was a ship and someone took off with it. And I'd be mad. But there's no emergency beacon, so there's no ship here. But yeah, we got enough oxygen forever now. I mean, I say that. They have it for the next uh, hour or so, maybe. <laughs> How far are we away? Eight hours away! Eight hours away from our ship. We've just been walking in zigzags. Just going back and forth, trying to find our freaking crash ship. Or, you know, I would love... You know what? Actually... This is a nice flat area. You think a trader would land for me? Let's see if I can get some... Uh, get some cobalt. And just kind of, you know, give myself a reason to sit here for a minute and see if anyone lands. If anyone wants to land right here, it's a nice flat area so you can get out. I can trade with you. Oh, I got zero. Oh, no, I'm good. All right, I have enough for cobalt, so that's what I care about. I don't care about the mineral deposit or the ionized cobalt or whatever. Don't care about all that. I don't need it. 
Don't need it. Oh, uh, Rognitovite. Okay. Yeah, I like how all of them are ite at the end. If it's a rock. It's a... Oh, that's my... I just did that. Okay, I was like, why is there a hole in the middle of this? That's why. Let's make some more batteries. We're going to need some more ferrite dust. Let's get rid of that. I don't like leftovers. Um, that one's good. That one's good. Nobody wants to land. All right, moving on. I did wait a, uh, like a minute or two. So uh, we gave them time if they wanted to land. Obviously, no one's interested in landing for me. Don't need any oxygen, so we'll ignore that. No, no, no. Anything over here? Do we see anything over here? I don't know, other than you, Sentinel? Other than you? room I got room for one more let's do it come on a uh, a shield upgrade for my suit not for my ship oh we're nanites that's cool too get back up there over oh, at 600 I mean we're getting we're getting there we did have thousands before now we're back to 600 nanites and on extreme mode, that's not going to get you very much. I think black market upgrades cost a little bit more than that. Want to land for me? One of you. Oh! Oh! That one? You want to land for me? That would be a... Oh, 49? No, no, no. The exotic? Don't land for me. 49 million? Jeez. Need a lot of money for an exotic, but I mean, it would have been cool. But yeah, I would have been extra mad because I uh, cannot uh, buy an exotic. Holy cow. 49. Well, now we have a new goal. <laughs> I think uh, naturally, naturally, the uh, haulers are going to be the only ships that go over 100 mi or uh, 50 million. I think that's natural. Like, of course, if you upgrade your ship and you add more inventory slots to it. Yeah, it'll get every ship will go over 100 million. But I think haulers are the only ship in nature, like a, a, a spawn ship, if you will, a vanilla, an unupgraded one. Those are the only ones that go over 50. Everything else is right around there because that was an exotic. It's an S-Class. They don't have a lot of inventory room, but I mean, S-Class exotic and that was only 49. Yeah, so it would make sense. So yeah, there's the goal for uh, 50 million. We need to save up 50. We're not even halfway there yet. <laughs> We're a fifth of the way there to 50 million. Think we are. Yeah, we're good. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, maybe we'll find an exotic crashed. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Oh, dude, can you imagine? We spend 10 hours walking around this planet and our reward will be a, an exotic that's crashed. Oh, that would be pretty sweet. I would be I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that. We've worked really hard walking in a circle, trying to find a ship, saving up our dang money. If we get a uh, an exotic crash, that would be amazing. 
Now, I do want a good exotic, like the, um, I don't like the ones with the long wings that kind of fold up underneath it. That's kind of a weird looking one. I love the circular, like the ball exotics that have like, I'll take the mosquito one that has a long beak on it or just the regular uh, ball one. That's too, that one's good too. That one's good too. Not seeing anything over here. Nothing. So I've been thinking about a new series in uh, Light No Fire when that game comes out. We know it's one singular planet. So let me know down in those comments. Now that you've been watching for a while, I know all the hardcore people who watch uh, the full episode. Now you're the only ones left. It's just me and you. Uh, what would you think about a... Uh, a light no fire series where I'm just trying to find the edge of the world. So I know it's supposed to be a, uh, a sphere. It's a planet, but do you think we'd be able to walk all the way around it and come back to the beginning? Like where we started, that would be pretty awesome. I get a compass and just keep going North, go to the North pole and all the way around it. And of course, you know, we would have to do like certain objectives per episode because I would imagine. I mean, who knows? We don't know officially how large the uh, the world, the planet is in Light No Fire. However, I would imagine if the uh, planets in No Man's Sky are 16 hours on average to walk around and the Light No Fire planet is massive, like way larger than that, I'm imagining it's going to take like weeks to walk around it if you do it every day, all day. Eight hours a day for multiple days. We're talking like probably weeks or maybe a month to do it so we'd have to get some other objectives instead of you know like for a fugitive run we're looking for a ship and as soon as we get one we're good but in light no fire if we do like a walk around the um the planet we'd have to figure out like okay what are we gonna do every day what's the objective i don't think a uh, a fugitive run would work on uh, light no fire simply because there's nowhere to go like we cannot escape the planet as far as i know I didn't see anything that mentioned it, and Sean Murray didn't say anything about- Oh! You can leave the planet eventually. And so, I would imagine it's just one gigantic massive map. One gigantic massive planet that we all play on. And, uh, yeah, so... What would you do? It wouldn't be a no fugitive- it wouldn't be a fugitive run or a no starship challenge. What would it be? It would be a, a North Pole challenge. See where you spawn up. You get randomly uh, put down somewhere. We can find the North Pole. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be an inventory map. Like, I don't know if we're going to have, like, a discovery tab like this to where it tells you where you are on the map, like on the planet. That would be interesting because then we can tell, oh, I'm on this part of the, uh, of the planet, whatever planet it's called. And so I know, oh, it's going to take me a few days or a few weeks to, or a year or whatever to walk to the North Pole or South Pole or whatever. Yeah, maybe that's the objective. Make it to one of the poles, a pole run. <laughs> North or South, doesn't matter. It just, it just, just depends on what your spawn is. And I mean... Maybe there's a chance you just start out at the South Pole or the North Pole. That would be funny. Well, it took me 10 minutes. <laughs> I just literally had to walk over. What is that? Oh, that's just a... Um... It looked different because there's a rock behind it. I was like, oh, is that a, a plant, a uh, ship? Let's double check. Now that I can... Uh, now that I'm looking, let's check it. Now I'm freaking out. Is this a, uh, a ship? Probably not. Yeah, it's just rocks. Okay. Yeah, I just saw the rocks and the smoke, and I was like, oh, that's a ship. Dang it. Well, you got an upgrade for me? It'll tell me no room in inventory. Ooh, there's an object in there, so we got to get rid of something. Refiner? Yes. Because I can always make that one. Just need uh, metal plating. That's fine. Oh! 
All right. That's one point for you, game. You maybe delete my refiner so I can get launch fuel, which I'm going to delete anyway. <laughs> Son of a... Ah, you got me. You got me on that one. I was all excited, like, ooh, it could be an upgrade. Ooh, I can use this or that. Nope. <laughs> Literally just launch fuel for a ship I do not have. Where's my north? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we at the North Pole? It moved. I think it moved. I think it's moving. Yes! We hit the North... Did it disappear? I think this is the North Pole. There's no North on the uh, chart. We are at the North Pole. Wait a minute. Let me move a little bit here. Where's North now? Is it moving? Where is it? Yeah, I, saw, I don't see anything North. Like, there's no North. <laughs> we hit the North Pole! There's a South over there. Yeah, see, it's moving. It's freaking out now. It's freaking out. <laughs> it doesn't know where North is because I'm on it. And because I can't move fast enough, like, there's a big area marked as North, I guess. Yeah, now it's North that way. All right. So now we are officially... We crossed over the North Pole. We are officially heading south now. We, we've, we've reached the top. We're at the top. Holy crap. I've never done that. This is not good. Well, I mean, it's cool, but we've been walking for a long time, guys. We officially crossed over the pole. Now we are going south. <laughs> now I have to make a mental note. I got to write my notes down. I keep going south because I'm going to instinctively when i uh when i start the next episode i'm gonna try to go north because you know that's where we've been going for like eight hours nine hours at this point now holy cow we crossed over the north pole that's the first on foot on foot like i have flown again i said i i've flown over it multiple times like you you know you're as you're exploring a planet but i've never walked over it so that's interesting it's not just one exact spot it's like a general area is the north pole okay anybody want to land i hear ships no 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 i don't see anybody like sometimes they like to land without you seeing them like they land behind you and you're like oh no <laughs> oh all right well and the other thing the other way i can i can remember is north is now where my ship is so uh we're avoiding that your starship nine hours away. Yep, we've officially been going for over nine hours. With no crash ships. Multiple outlaws, but none of them I could buy their ship from because they didn't want to cut me a deal, even though I'm a fellow outlaw. Come on. We're all outlaw brothers. Come on, cut me a deal. Nothing. Not for me, anyway. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just keep heading south now. <laughs> Oh. Nothing. Oh, metal fingers. Nope. Oh, ancient data structure. So you can all... I, I, I know I, I say this all the time because I'm losing my mind. I'm getting old. You can try to open those up and they have a small chance of giving you a cargo drop pod. So, you know, a chart. But most of the time, they'll just, they're just they just going to give you navigational data. Like, I think it's like a 70-30 split, or it feels like that. The odds are lower. Ancient data. Don't worry about it. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It was not me. And yeah, we'll do this. We'll get rid of that. Just in case there's a cargo... Uh, drop pod in here somewhere. I have a feeling. Oh, no, there you go. Exosuit deck upgrade. Uh, we got one. We got one. I think we only got one. Is there only one? One chart? All right. I'm going. I got to go south. I'm going to get away from these guys. I think that was all of them. Um, yep. Only sentinels. Oh, God. He, he brought all of his buddies with him. Oh, I'm out of here. See ya. We can go up here. 
Make sure I'm facing the wall. That way it doesn't use my jetpack fuel. That's all you got to do. Make sure you're against the wall and you're facing it. Oh, and it's not vertical anymore. It's, it's rounded off over here. Okay, that's okay. So how many do we get? We got one. We got one drop pod data. Uh, an exosuit upgrade chart. Let's see where it, where is it? Where do you think it is? How much you want to bet it's like uh, five hours away or something like that? Just to mess with me. We'll get it with our. Uh, is it behind me? No. Oh my god, eight hours behind me. Well, nope, I'm not walking eight hours backwards. Sorry. That's not happening. I was hoping for five. <laughs> no, eight hours. Okay. Well, at least when we get our ship, we'll be able to go get another exosuit upgrade. Uh, at least inventory upgrade. And it's hard to say exosuit inventory upgrade. So I always say inventory or an inventory upgrade or like an exosuit upgrade. You know, so in general, that's what I do. Even though the upgrades are like your shield, your hands to protection, things like that. It's an inventory upgrade, though. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. And... And nanites. All right. Let's keep heading south. Nope, 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 nope. I hear somebody. I hear you. You guys want to land for me? One of you? One of you? One of you? One of you? Oh, dang it. Now, the shuttle would have been what I preferred, but, you know, the hauler... I don't care. As long as I can sell stuff and get my inventory cleaned up a bit. Maybe buy an upgrade. Buy a shield upgrade if they have one. I think I have enough. Uh, maybe not. I think it's like 800 or 1,000, so... I wouldn't even have enough uh, nanites to upgrade that. Are you guys coming back to land for me? No? <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping maybe they changed their mind. Like, oh, yeah, actually, sorry. We meant to land. Sorry, Jason. We, we actually meant to land for you. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Not a zip. Got some stuff landing. Some meteors hitting the earth or the, the ground. That's that's something I, I have a weird habit of. Every star is a sun and every planet is an earth. <laughs> In my head, I always say the earth. Like, no, actually, we're on a whole different planet there, Jason. Buddy. That star is not the uh not the sun. Just checking that damage machinery. Nothing. And nothing. I cannot believe... Well, I mean, I can believe. We crossed over the North Pole. Nothing. Oh, more data. Oh, no. Mutant plant. Sorry. Excuse me. They need to have different uh, markers. Like, they always have a, a singular star for a special item. But that could be fungal mold. It could be uh, a mutant plant. It could be an ancient data structure. So I wish they would give us more symbols. That way I knew. Okay, it's a yellow one. Make it make them all yellow. That's fine. But if it's a yellow, but if it's like, you know, a mutant plant sign or a uh, an ancient data structure, make it a, a cube sign or something. That way I can easily distinguish it without actually having to scan on it. To like literally hover there for a second and go, oh, what is it? What is it? Okay, got it. Nope. Nope, nope. Yeah, so much navigational or, uh, Buried technology still. Again, another like two or three million. 
see so yeah, we're up to probably 13 or 14 million i mean technically 11 12 13 14 14 million 14 and a half so yeah 14 and a half million we're almost 15. it feels like my radiation protection is going down faster than usual maybe it's just because i'm losing track of time but yeah it does feel like it's going down faster Nothing. I'm not seeing anything. I see glowing, but that's just gamma root over there. Gamma root over there. All right. Wait a minute. What is that? Can I see that? A drop pod? Is that a drop pod top over there? Wait a minute. No, don't tell me there's a drop pod right here. And I used my chart and it just marked the one eight hours behind me. Oh, God. If that's the case, then what the heck is going on here? Why not mark the one that was like 10 minutes away instead of the one that's eight hours away? Might be. Let me check. It could be just a rock that I saw. But there was some kind of a, a cap or a roof of something. Looked like a drop pod. Maybe? Well, maybe it was these rocks. Dang it. It probably was one of these rocks. Yeah, it's down in the hole. Yep, it's a, a plaque. Well, great. Thank you. I don't need a plaque, but I appreciate it. Land for me? Yeah, the odds have to be low. So that's what? Like the fifth or sixth one that's uh, flown over? And we still haven't gotten it? So it's not 50-50. It's lower than that. Oh god, what am I doing? I probably have way too much oxygen already. Yeah, I still have two stacks. Oh god. Don't do that, Jason. Don't need that. Um, well, let's keep going. Nothing. I see a red oxygen, ferrite dust. Oh, we probably need some ferrite dust, right? Um, we got 130. We're decent. We're decent. I mean, I could always use more just in case something breaks, but you know. Magnetized ferrite? I don't think we need a lot of that. Yeah, we already have 230. We're good on that. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. 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 Unknown building over here. Ooh, what is that? Is that a ship? Is that a ship? Radiation. Unknown building. Scartech, eat it. Eat it, Scartech. Is that a... I think that's a ship. Is there a, is there a pilot around it? Oh my god. Is there a pilot? Is there a pilot? I see a flag. Look for a distress beacon over there. Oh, it might be. We're going to have a hauler. We're going to have a hauler, please, for the love of God. Yes! Oh, my God. Finally. Finally, we're out of here. I don't even care. It has wings. It's not a toothpaste hauler. So, with the... Oh, my heart's beating a million miles a minute. With the Fugitive Run, you cannot use your, uh, your starter ship to benefit you in any way. However, with a crashed ship, it does not benefit you because... It doesn't give you any extra money or anything like that because they're always free no matter what. So it's a good idea to swap it out. That way I don't even have it anymore. So it's gone completely. I mean, you can claim it, but again, it's free. So it's not like you're getting any benefit of swapping it out. You're not getting a bonus of, oh, it's cheaper. You can't get cheaper than free. Anyway, we're going to swap it. Nope, we're not transferring because we cannot use anything from our original ship. Oh. Rimdac UP5. Well, we're going to have to rename this. The, um... Oh, God. It can't be a pineapple because it's not yellow. What are we going to name this? We're going to name this the, um... The UPS... 
fugitive savior. <laughs> there it is. Ah, <sighs> so can we fix anything here? We could probably, I could probably make everything in here. So we're going to need a hermetic seal. We have that. We need a metal plating. We have that. We need a jelly. We got that. So yeah, we're good on this. Done, done. We're good on this. Done, done. We are officially out of here. I can make the micro pro I have the microprocessors. I can fix that. Sodium nitrate. We can do that. The shield. We need uh what how do I have sodium? Oh, I don't have sodium nitrate. Okay, we have that. We have this. We can get rid of this. And we can use this upgrade, because only 8%, but we can use the materials from this to fix our shield. Um oh, we need sodium nitrate, but we also we got our chromatic metal, so we're good on that. Uh we need sodium nitrate. So let's make some sodium nitrate. That way we can fix our uh, our shields so I don't get killed. I don't get murdered. Oh, I need metal plating. Metal plating! Another one. Because that would be the worst thing is I finally get out of here and then I get killed by pirates because I did not have a shield or something. So where's my sodium? Turn that into sodium nitrate. And yeah, because we can get our weapon. We can do that one. Uh, we can fix our shield. Got that. Uh, hyperdrive. We can kind of fix that. We still need more uh, chromatic metal, but that's fine. We can get some of that. We're easy on that. Oh, right. So let's move some of this over here. Oh, yeah. We can install some upgrades. We have a million upgrades. Ah, <laughs> yes. Beautiful. So we have a shield upgrade. Yeah, see, I uh, delete one shield upgrade to get another one. Beautiful. There we are. 19. So we went from 8 to 19. We doubled our shield upgrade. I love it. That should be enough to fix it. Uh, 13 on that one. And this one needs... Oh, I need six more and we'll be good. And... Oh, yeah. That's plenty. Plenty. Finally! Finally, so can we fix any of these? Oh, no, we're gonna need a lot of materials to do that Platinum we're gonna need chlorine Yeah, I see we need a lot of materials to fix this thing up So the other thing we can do is Try to find a pirate system go there and use this to as a basically as a uh, a Trading thing so we can finally get out of here. Thank God. Oh, wait a minute guys I almost left before checking this you need to check these because you get technology upgrades out of this. Now, the first one you get from the Distress Beacon is always going to be your teleport receiver for your ship. However, if you keep finding wrecked ships, crashed ships, you will eventually run into a uh, advanced mining beam. Um, There we go. Yep, see, teleport receiver. Done. So we almost got that going. And we can grab this. Did I grab this already? Nope, I did not. Let's see what upgrade we get out of here. Please give me a cool upgrade. And nanites. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, so you always get your technology, a blueprint of, you know, it feels like a random one. There is a set order and it was pretty quick. I think it's like either the second or the third ship you find will give you an advanced mining beam, but you have to make sure come over to this distress beacon and check it out so you can get your blueprint. Oh, guys, I am going to call it there. I am freaking out. We are finally leaving the planet. So hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next episode when we officially leave after we go get our cargo drop pod over there. But I'll see you guys then.